The hunt for a job can mean the navigation of rather challenging terrain. So before you set off, make sure you've done your preparation, you know your job hunt channels, and you know how to get the most out of them. So before you actually start looking for a job, reflect. Ask yourself some questions to try and refine the kind of job that would suit you. Really know your own skills and experience. Consider all the different types of work experience you have and put together an elevator pitch for recruiters, interviews and any networking opportunities. Sort your CV out. It's a good idea to have a master CV with all your experience, skills, achievements and interests in it. Then create different versions of it tailored for specific roles and companies. Get yourself organized. Have a routine or schedule for the number of applications you're going to make per day. Create a spreadsheet for the companies you've applied to and when. Make folders for the different versions of your CV. Professionalize. Google yourself to see what other people will see. And if you're worried about the image you're portraying, change your privacy settings or set up a professional profile and make sure you have a professional email address and voicemail message too. And do your research. Dig deep into companies you think you might be interested in working for. Be curious. There isn't just one thing you can do when you hunt for a job. There's a range of approaches and it's best to understand them all. Remember that along with the big job boards like Indeed, CareerBuilder, Glassdoor, Seek, LinkedIn and Monster, there are niche ones too for the industry you want to work in. Register on both types. Recruiters are likely to play a big part in your job hunt, so learn about how they work, remembering they often have areas of specialism, and learn how to build relationships with them. You need to be e-hireable to get a job, and that means having profiles on social media networking sites, especially LinkedIn, and even having your own website. Online networking is about proactively connecting, blogging, tweeting, reaching out, and sharing, which increases your online footprint advertises your skills and interests and potentially gives you access to the right people. Face-to-face -face networking at careers fairs, other networking events and with your friends, colleagues and contacts can provide lots of new opportunities. Speculative applications are about making contact with a person at an organization you want to work at to inquire about opportunities and express your interest. This works particularly well if you've seen they're already advertising for a different role. Being referred for an opportunity by someone who already works at the organization can mean a warm and often more fruitful introduction. Perhaps the simplest of all, direct applications are about searching for jobs on the specific company's website and applying to them directly. But you need to know the company you're interested in first. You should be using as many of these channels as you can in your job search to have the best chance of discovering the opportunities that are out there. There are lots of things you can do to get the most out of each job hunt channel, but there are four things you need to remember. Relevance, consistency, attitude, and authenticity. Relevance. Whatever skills you have, you need to be highlighting the most relevant ones in all the channels you use. There should be searchable, relevant keywords throughout the CV you upload to job boards and throughout all your online profiles. Make the content you share online and your comments about it relevant to the type of work you're interested in. Match language from the job descriptions or language your potential employers are using when searching for candidates so they can find you and so you resonate with them. Consistency. It's important you aren't saying one thing in your CV and presenting a totally different image in your online profiles. Make everything consistent. Likewise, your cover letter, elevator pitch, the language you use about yourself when networking all need to be consistent. Work out who you are, what you can offer, and what you want, and be that person across all the channels you use. Attitude. Be professional and polite in all your communications, in person and online with recruiters, new and existing contacts, and of course, any potential employers and always be enthusiastic and positive. Authenticity. Be genuinely you. An authentic CV personal statement and profile summary may set you apart from the competition and show a genuine interest in whoever you're networking with, as well as the employer, the roles and the opportunities. 
So before you start searching, prepare by reflecting on what you want and what you bring. Get yourself organized and be curious. Familiarize yourself with all the job hunt channels you could be using and capitalize on each of them with relevance, consistency, authenticity and attitude. Job hunting may be a challenge, but by working through these three steps, you'll be more than up to it. What's the next thing you'll do to prepare for your job hunt?